Hello, my beautiful Taurus. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun and Rising and Venus. Please keep in mind energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Okay, we have the energy of fear with loss events. Someone's uh, really worried or concerned here that they lost a lot more than they thought initially. Also feeling like uh, there's no turning around. Um, that maybe something is too far in the distance here and unable to be attained. Confusion. I feel unclear about where we stand. Neglected. I fail to give you what you need. Yeah, someone's confused about uh, how to move forward, what to do about the situation, but also understanding what they should have done. Very confusing energy here. Overall energy, we have the Three of Wands. This is about making changes, standing firm on decisions, and finally uh, taking a step forward here. So let's see what's going on in your energy. We have the Judgment, Queen of Wands, the Sun, Two of Wands, and the Fool card. So you get this surge of energy this week. It's kind of like... Uh, finally deciding to do some things that maybe you have been thinking about for a while. This can be in regards to your home life, finances, even in love. And you feel like you're taking risks. You know, you get this little feeling like, you know, I'm just going to go for it. If you do, you are highly rewarded. Sun, judgment, uh, the universe is smiling down on you and ready to give you these blessings. So, it's kind of like saying, step out of your comfort zone this week. Those ideas or those things that have just been irking you to do, go ahead and do them because they're going to be blessed tenfold and you're going to see miraculous things happen here out of this. For those of you dealing with a sense of loss when it comes to somebody uh, or a certain situation here, you feel like it just didn't turn out like you wanted or um, you might have felt fooled in a way. Don't worry because things are going to be made very clear. Okay, you're going to see a different perspective this week. Five of Swords, Five of Wands, Justice, and the Six of Cups. Some of you might be dealing with a soulmate here. This person is starting to understand this connection, the feelings that they have. They are overwhelmed with emotions here, but also very upset, angry at themselves, uh, feeling uncomfortable in their actual environment. A lot of frustration going on. Tell the Five of Swords. Feeling like they want to win. Uh, to be able to talk to you again. Or achieve something here. Five of Swords. Ten of Cups. Oh yeah they know. They know now. And they may have not known in the past. We will get into it. They know now that they love you. They That you are the one for them. Ten of Cups. That they want to spend a life with you. That they've been fantasizing about this. For quite a while now. You are unaware of this in the Queen of Wands judgment, but they're really giving themselves a pep talk. They're feeling a sense of defeat as well because they feel like their ego got in the way or the fact that they wanted to control something that they had no right to control. Some of the Five of Wands, Four of Cups and the Page of Cups. Yeah, it's like they missed the memo here. They really missed what they were um, feeling. So they weren't really addressing their true feelings towards you or this connection. They were focused on something else here or um, making it about winning or controlling this. All right, so let's see what's happened in the past. I also see a lot of them are really afraid, very fearful here that you will reject them or not listen to them uh, if they did contact you. The Hanged Man, Nine of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, there is like something being hung up here in regards to someone being single or independent or not having enough funds or being able to do what is needed in their environment to be with you. In the Knight of Swords, they've been very callous um, and unemotional in how they respond to you and how they've been addressing this whole connection. And it feels like... Uh, They've been treating this almost, uh, for some of you, like a business deal or um, very clinical energy. And it felt very uncomfortable for you. A lot of you were like, you know, I, I don't know what to do with this. Some of you didn't know what to say to them at times as well. 
Six of Wands. Yeah, you felt like their energy shifted here where they became more detached uh, in a sense where when they would talk to you or come back around, it felt like it was all about them winning, um, possibly getting advice from you or um, them more focused and only talking about themselves or what was happening in their life and really ignoring what was happening in yours or uh, this connection as a whole. You kind of felt some of you used, okay, towards the end. Tell me the hanged man. Some of them have put a huge value on money um, or material gain, something that they think that makes them worthy of love or worth something in this lifetime. Uh, nine of Wands. Yeah, it's kind of like sticking it through thick and thin. You felt like uh, you kind of had to uh, stay in this at times, see where it was going to go. You felt like you didn't really, you couldn't really make a decision because they weren't really being honest or giving you too much to go on because as soon as they would kind of open up, I see them all of a sudden detaching here or they would try to ruffle your feathers in the Knight of Swords, say something or cause arguments to try to control the narrative or where conversations went. Also control uh, you by pushing you back a little bit, putting you in your place. Very rough energy is what I see. Five of Cups, Emperor, Empress, Seven of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. So there is some hidden emotional baggage that they haven't dealt with. That uh, the reason they act this way or they started to let that fear or doubt about themselves seep in was due to some experience they've had in their past. This can be childhood. Some of them a past re love relationship where they felt like if you do commit to somebody, then they're just going to take advantage of you. And the more ammo you give somebody and tell them about how you feel, they're going to use it against you. And they feel like everybody is like this. So it is a mindset or a belief that when it comes to love, you really shouldn't show all your cards. You shouldn't open up completely because they will use it against you or they will end up hurting you because everybody wants control okay so this is actually far bigger than just love in general where they feel like everyone is out for themselves to seek control control over other people control over their job control over whatever and they feel like they have to be on their toes and the first person to get control it's just the thoughts that go in their head because you're the emperor five of cups they were very hurt in the past they use it as a defense mechanism put up a wall so that they look very cold in the Emperor card. They look like they know they're in control and nobody's going to penetrate that or make them feel sad or frustrated that they're a very tough person. But the Five of Cups is somebody that is very sad, very devastated or disappointed in themselves. So they can be their worst critic, but you wouldn't know it. But with the Emperor Empress card here, they see you as the person that they belong with, the person that gets them the one that they desire or fantasize to take care of. Um, almost this person having dreams or fantasies of having a committed relationship with you. If some of you have been in a committed relationship with them or you've been very on and off, I see that they really feel bad that they've disappointed you, but they don't want you to know this. They feel like they've caused a lot of uh, sadness and heartache in your life, but also They've been a big disappointment and they feel like if they show that they feel bad, then they lose control again. The Seven of Cups with the Knight of Cups, they're unsure of what to do with these feelings. You, you've you kind of confused them by coming into their life. The love that they have for you, they've not experienced before with anyone else because of the Emperor Empress. So they felt like they wanted to tear down that wall and that scared them even more. And so they started to build up even a more rough exterior and kind of be harder on you and they it didn't turn out in their favor they thought it would and things would start falling into place uh maybe they wouldn't feel as much then um kind of like the feeling of they're going crazy right they they really started to think what is wrong with me i don't understand this and since you've been gone here or they have walked away they've been even more frustrated all right, so let's see what they're about to do. King of Wands, Nine of Cups, Tower, Ton of Swords, Page of Swords. 
So they've hit rock bottom. And finally, we have a new beginning uh, that's going to really challenge you to see the positive of things here, but also that's going to change your love life for good. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, though, Taurus, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support, and I will see you next time.